from a land of 44 rivers, innumerable lakes, and 1500 kilometers of backwaters, she is a goddess hailing from the land of gods, Kerala. She is a warrior that wears white and adorns power on her head like a crown. The traditional attire of whites and golds, showcasing different festivals and dance forms. She throbs with a pulsating rhythm of Kathakali, a dance drama throbbing with magnificent colors of life with a big jhumka in her ears and the brightest of smiles adorning her face. She invites you to the land of backwaters and heritage. Presenting contestant number one, Rhea. Attire helps her channelize the old souls of queens that awaited their kings coming back from war. In this moment, the soul forgets the glory of being a queen, but awaits the father of her children and the warmth of her spirit. Presenting to you, contestant number two, Somya. We have with us contestant number three, Sne. She represents what is famously coined as a paradise on earth. She's wearing Kashmir's own Ferran. Though it not might be the grandest or the biggest, but it represents the fondest memories of her childhood. It represents her grandparents and their warmth. It represents her home back in Srinagar. It represents the beautiful culture that she always closes. This is an ode to the resilient tribal women of my homeland, Jharkhand, that has given numerous sportswomen to our country. Nikki Pradhan, Salima Tete, Sangeeta Kumari, Deepika Kumari, Kumalika Bari. We are an example of simple, hard-working women and an example for every little girl from a humble background that no dream is too big. Presenting to you contestant number four, Anamika. Now we have with us contestant number five, Sondarya Gauda. She's representing Lord Ganesha as her idol.
inspiring the wings in this outfit are the beautiful colors from the national bird peacock and contradicting it is the white lehenga which describes the cultural diversity of this great country india the crown stands for the pride of the indian women on their incredible history and respect for other great women who fought for better change in the world all together binding india as unity in diversity presenting to you contestant number 6 soni women has the power to do extraordinary things which are beyond our imagination she is a multitasker it's her divineness calmness and the power of healing the wounds by her love that makes our society a better place to live our contestant number 7 ashwarya represents a woman who is a mother a homemaker and a doctor let's not forget that in india the symbol of strength is a woman the goddess shakti herself presenting contestant number 7 ashwarya Her national costume represents the dignity of our country which are the first Indian women achievers who made us proud the golden color of the outfit showcases the triumph of our country having the lotus lotuses and peacock feathers being our national flower and bird with the gold jewelry giving the essence of Indian womanhood representing to you contestant number 8 falguni contestant number 9 vidushi vidushi is the epitome of elegance and regality as she asserts her ancestry from the times of rajputana maharanis like rani padmini who held out against foreign invaders it is this spirit that drives vidushi in her quest for building a better and a more equitable india presenting contestant number 9 vidushi Contestant number 10 is Kashish. Her national costume represents the dancers of India. Dance as a performing art has traditionally been an important part of rich culture and the heritage of India. This richness is represented by her golden brocade lehenga and the eight classical dances of India are the most reverted art form and each of them is represented in the shoulder gear in form of dancing dolls the beginning of september is the start of the autumn season which signifies brightness and growth after darkness this costume is a representation of our flora and she wants to promote hope after darkness presenting contestant number 11 alankrita
form the meadows of Mathura and Vrindavan, the birthplace of Sri Krishna, being a gopi dedicated to the service of the divine. By acknowledging and caring for the cows and playing, humming and dancing in divine of love and light. That's the Indian gopi from Vrindavan, living life in colors that the highest power and force. Presenting to you, contestant number 12, Jigyasa. <laughs> is influenced by the Sambalpuri Dalkhai costume and folk dance from Western Odisha, which celebrates diversity by having tribal and non-tribal individuals perform the dance in the same flat form. She wears a tahaya on her head as a symbol of honor and the responsibility she feels for fostering social harmony. Presenting to you, contestant number 13, Barbi Mishra. The costume represents Dev Bhumi, Himachal, and Pahari people. The vibrant and colorful attire is the culture identity of the state. This cap is not merely a headgear for the Pahari people, rather it's a symbol of pride. The sardi worn on top of the attire is worn to keep the wearer warm during harsh winters. The jewelry worn by a Pahari woman adds grace and femininity to their personality. Presenting to you contestant number 14, Anshul. This national costume depicts the true essence of Rajasthan. It is designed by Arshina herself and made by her family, which makes it even more special for her. The outfit is made by the traditional Rajasthani print bandej. The heavy jewelry, mirror work, and the back piece describes the vibrancy and colorfulness of the gala life. Presenting contestant number 15, Arshina. Walking in with royalty from the city of Nizams, we have a costume bringing to you the pearls of Hyderabad. From the karigars in the city with over a thousand pearls hand-stitched, Hyderabad is a city of treasure with a history of wealth of over 400 years. The Kohinoor and the pearls have been their queens of jewels, and we have a pearl from the city itself on stage today. Presenting to you contestant number 16, Prachi. It's the expression of soul. The three piece black and red ensemble is intrinsic to the Kalbelia stripe, 
what draws India closer to an obscure and indifferent picture are the indigenous tribes of Rajasthan. Kalbelia women depicted in the skirt showcases the endless celebrations and women with local swords speaks about empowerment and upliftment. Women of the stripe are powerful who survive all obstacles and have the courage to dance on tunes even in challenging times. Presenting to you contestant number 17, Shrishti. This costume is a portrayal of a festival that is cherished through colors that symbolizes the power of love and triumph of good over evil, holy. It signifies pure love, forgiveness, and harmony by bringing colors into people's lives that is also associated with a number of rituals. It is the time to unwind and de-stress by creating a bond with the Gujas and Abir. Presenting to you, contestant number 18, Isha. This national costume, Lehenga, is the pride of India. Even if there are dozens of traditional dresses worn by women, but Lehenga is worn by women since ancient times, and it continues to do so. The outfit embraces exquisite gold embroidery. The gold signifies an abundance of wisdom and adds warmth to everything around it. Presenting contestant number 19, Rani. Presenting the culturally rich Punjab through a pre-wedding ritual called Jago, which means wake up, in which sisters carry lightened lamp pots on their heads in their community to celebrate light and happiness. So here, she is celebrating Punjabi art culture by wearing fulkari threadwork gown a gota patti cape which promotes music instruments, dhol and tumbi, whereas pakhi and matka in domestic use, used by ladies in land of five rivers and agriculture. Punjab, India. Contestant number 20, Bhavni. Next up, we have contestant number 21, Avya Gupta. This costume is handmade by reusing jute sacks to promote sustainability and inspire people to be the change they want to see. India is the world's largest producer of jute, also known as the golden fiber of the country. This costume is a tribute to my country, our Sone Ki Chidiya which soars high with Atmanirbha Bharat and sustainable living. Contestant number 22, Advika. Here comes an East Indian girl, which is an indigenous community 
of Mumbai, Thana and Salseet Islands, flaunting her heritage by wearing a traditional East Indian Lugra fabric with pride and making her statement by showcasing this community to the country. It has a red and golden lined border with faintly visible checks from afar paired with the gold dress and the gold color is multifaceted, often denoting generosity and compassion. Presenting contestant number 23, McQueen. Durga Puja, the festival of power of Nari Shakti, prosperity through the mythology of our rich Indian culture. The ten arms of the goddess Durga not only represent a woman's power of protecting her children from the odds, the arms also take care of the nourishment of the artisan's pocket. This is not just the representation of Nari Shakti, but also the diversity of art forms by those who come before me. Contestant number 24, Dipankna. Contestant number 25, Simar Khaneja. She's from Haryana and she's wearing a traditional Punjabi attire representing the land of agriculture, India, where Punjab and Haryana are the largest contributors, contributing more than 50% in the total production. Her birthplace, Karnal, is also known as the rice ball of India. She's also carrying a fan in her hand with a variety of seeds engraved on it, representing the richness of agriculture in India. Presenting Simar Khaneja. Our next contestant is contestant number 26, Rovinya. She is wearing a costume that is connected to her forefathers and depicts her culture. Contestant number 26, Rovinu. Next up is Juhi Vyas, brightening a night with the colors of Rangilo Rajasthan. Her flamboyant attire is inspired by the pink city Jaipur, the blues of Jodhpur, the whites from Udaipur, and the goldens from Jaisalmer. Adding to that glory are two iconic association of royalties and kings of Rajasthan, the Katputli, the Katputli art form patterned by the nobles for 1500 years, and the Mashal, which enlightened the courts and palaces for century. Presenting Contestant number 27, Juhi Vyas. Our 
Archer Sharma, beautifully dressed up in the traditional attire of the most vibrant, the most colorful state, Haryana, the abode of God and the land of Bhagavad Gita. She's proudly representing the women of Haryana who are so gracefully carrying forward the traditions while also excelling in every field as a strong and powerful woman, be it academics, be it sports, or even entertainment and beauty pageants. They are breaking the glass ceilings. Contestant number 28, Archal Sharma. Next up, we have contestant number 29, Pratibha Chaudhary. She is wearing a traditional lehenga with the red odini, adding up with Rajasthan's beautiful royal jewelry, which represents the royal Rajasthan. Contestant number 29, Pratibha Chaudhary. and gentlemen, can we please have a huge round of applause for all these spectacular 29 finalists of Klamanan Supermodel India 2022.